Love you. vlog i don't know why i thought it was a good idea to not put in my contacts today and wear my mask with my glasses to the shops but it's a new vlog it's a new day um and although not the best day um brain is at home working and i thought i would just take a few minutes and just catch a breather and leave the house and just i don't know get some lunch for us today marks Oh, um, one year since my mom passed away and Brain has been so amazing to me the whole day he like cleaned the kitchen he washed the dishes and he was just like you are doing nothing today um, he literally forced me to not even work but I had to get some things up so I've just been on the couch just watching TV and just been chilling that's why I was like okay I'm not even gonna do contact today I'm just gonna go to the shops with my glasses but now I'm rethinking it but um, anyway if you um, missed why we've been gone on the vlog channel I will link the video down below the previous video that we did on um why we've been gone for about two weeks so this is the first vlog back into trying to vlog more frequently and getting back to where we were posting every day we're gonna try our best to um get out as much content as possible um but yeah i'm at the shops now i'm gonna grab us some lunch and um yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along and then we're gonna go home to brain and bring you along on our day today so let's go we were conversing into the night sky when you took my hands and let's leave now don't wanna be shy i will let my guard down don't wanna be shy Not breathe. Oh my word, I hate wearing a mask. It's literally, it feels like I don't know what I'm doing, like where I'm going or what I'm looking for. Like it's almost like that thing where it says when women park, they turn down the music so that they can park. Or when you're looking for a house, you turn down the music because you can't concentrate. And I feel like it's the exact same thing. I feel like I can't function with this damn thing on my face because I can't breathe. But that's me complaining for 45 seconds. Um, oh my goodness. Uh, what I, what I actually thought of this. I saw a lady from... Um, Leroy Merlin in the store and I was like okay it's literally just here let me just go quickly since I'm already out and about I haven't been out since the funeral a week ago um, and yeah I thought I would just pop in there and maybe see if they have um, those baskets that I you know show all around the apartment and you guys always ask about them so I actually want to see if they have like a light pink maybe for my beauty room because I want to organize a little bit more in there and while I'm out and about I thought I would um, pop in there so hopefully they have it and hopefully they sell it because I doubt 
actually doubt that they will. I hope they do. But let's go to Leroy. And then I can show you guys what they look like because I get so many questions on where they're from. And I mentioned that they are from Leroy. Um, and they're so affordable. So I'm going to go there. Fingers crossed. We went to a small bar with neon lights. Talked about everything that was on our mind. Talking to you gave me butterflies. Then you took my hand and said, let's leave now. have one when I bought like a lot of them they were on special for 30 bucks and now they are full price again but they have I've got the the beige and the black at home and the white but they only have one light pink and then they have the smaller ones okay so I've got this unit at home the the bigger one one of these units and you get shelving in between but they didn't have any white so I just took one of these ones that looks like that and I'm gonna put it in between and just use smaller baskets because I'm impatient and I don't want to wait Okie dokie. oh my goodness I feel like I shouldn't be this impatient because it ends up costing me a whole lot more but I feel like it's it was meant to be in a way because um, those extra dividers will give me so much more space in terms of um, like organizing my beauty products so I think like I said it's like a blessing in disguise but they only had one left of the large basket so I took one large two medium no three medium and four small okay let us go home gonna do a little haul I got these chippies they are so good you guys literally you have to try them and then I'm gonna wipe all of this so I'm gonna take it out and I'm just put it on the counter and then I'll wipe it and pack it away before I pack it away got some two minute noodles more chippies I really want to try and make um, Doritos chicken I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's like Doritos crumb chicken. Not healthy, but I really just want to try it. And then I got these for Brain because he loves them. Little praline eggs. They were on special. Lily, guys. Lily. <laughs> um, and then some sushi. Just a little snack. And then I have some meat over here. Got some coriander, some avo, some banana. I picked up more um, bovril and peanut butter as well. Mushrooms, olives, veg, a big packet of focus mixed vegetables. Seven up. This is not, not the most graceful haul. I'm sorry. Got some peanut butter, Tabasco. I don't like spicy food, but I like Tabasco. And Bren, when he feels like the food needs a little bit of a kick, all he does is just put Tabasco on it, and it's perfect. So this is 
a good thing to have in the house. And then we don't really consume cheese, but I wanted to make tacos, so I just got this 8 Rand grated cheese. Um, we ran out of tomato sauce. And then how cute, I love these for little tacos. They are mini tortilla wraps, and I get the brown one. Then you literally just use them for tacos. And they are the best. And then I just got some, oh, uh, it's not coming out, some split peas for a soup. I'm going to wipe all of this and pack it away. Don't want to be shy. Have some sushi. Okay. Gonna have um, some sushi. I actually wanted sushi for dinner. I yeah, I'm. I feel a little bit weird about takeaways during this time, and um, especially sushi because you need to make it with your hands, obviously. But we went to um, this pick and pay. It's a pick and pay next to Turn and Tender in Vilgeval. And we saw how the guy makes it. He literally wears like protective gear and gloves and everything. And normally on Wednesdays they have a 50% off um, special. But I don't know. They cancelled. They're not doing it anymore. So I just got a little snack for now. And then I'm going to take a bath and pray dinner with you guys. How's your work going? It's going, it's taking a while. Um, the sushi is not that great. It wasn't that great. No, either. that's mine! You don't have wasabi. Oh, do you eat wasabi now? The, the, the sushi tastes like this, I did. <laughs> you normally don't have wasabi, Leafy. The sushi needs some flavor. Yeah, it's not. It's a little bit bland. I think. So I've been MIA for most of this, for well, the last few, this vlog. This is the first time we've taken. Last few what? No, I wanted to take vlogs. Last few days. Mm. Yeah. But it's the In first the time we're vlogging again. It'll probably be until Friday. I think so. It's Friday tomorrow. Yes, yeah, Thursday tomorrow. Mm. Well, the whole day I thought it was Thursday. <laughs> yeah, so I'm busy with the project. I'm developing an online course, an e-learning course for a company. Around uh, coronavirus. Yeah, it's, they've got like a coronavirus awareness program. It's a requirement for most companies I believe at the moment that are going back to work. So I'm just developing the e-learning course and the platform for them. Are you so going to finish today? I'm going to try and finish today. But what are you going to do until Friday? Well, it's after like a today... It's a lot of back and forth. Yeah. That's what's taking so long, I think. And I've redone it like three times. Yeah, so you do something. And that's exactly with my videos as well. Sometimes you spend so much time on the video and the edits itself then you send it and then they're like oh this needs changing this needs changing and then all of the time you spent on that well i must admit a lot of this again. this was my own suggestions to change it and i i haven't worked on on websites for a while <laughs> that's so. what you did in your previous job yeah, well, we like, did that for a bit, yeah. You did websites and stuff? Well, that was part of it, yeah. So... Oh, <gasps> my water! One of the tools that I always used, I just remembered 
I could actually use for this project that would speed up and bring a lot of interactiveness to the online course. So I had to redo it. I'm gonna go wash my Rana body and have a little bit of a me time. More me time. More me time. Alright, I'm gonna try and speed up the process. So we can have a little bit of a cuddle. Yes. Tonight. Mm. Oh shit. Okay, I finished up in the bath. I was literally just chilling there for about an hour. Um, and it was so nice. Brent is in there now and he said that he would make dinner for us tonight, but I'm really in the mood to cook. So I'm gonna make dinner for us and I'm gonna make um Brent's grand's pea soup, like a ham and pea soup. So how she started off is she cooks down um like either chuck or stewing beef or um, I don't know like meat like this so what I'm gonna do is just brown it so I have some olive oil in the pan and I'm gonna brown it and then I'll salt and pepper one side I don't want the soup to be too salty to begin with. We can always like add more soup or uh, more soup and <laughs> more salt and pepper, if you know what I mean. So while that is browning, I am gonna rinse and boil some split peas. This is such an affordable dish, you guys. I really hope that you try it out. It's one of my favorite dishes that Brains Gran actually used to make for us. Um, so before that burns, I'm going to do that, rinse it, and then boil it with some water and a chicken stock. Don't want to be shy. And then you wanna just break but <laughs> Is it a soup or a swim? <laughs> a soup or a swim? There's so much water. Um you wanna break um off the meat. It doesn't matter what it looks like because I'm gonna blend everything anyway. And I'm just making sure blend. that yeah you blend it make sure there's no bones so I'm just like feeling with my hands because you won't be able to tell 100% with a knife and fork I fork the knife <laughs> no that's what it's on the floor because I messed on the floor goodness you don't want to put it on the table good grief angel good grief you giving me grief so if you if you work so you were supposed to not supposed to you said you wanted to make dinner what were you planning on making I haven't even thought, thought about it is this too raw do you want to eat it what meat's this it's chuck beef mm. we eat our steak like medium to rare so it doesn't matter if it's a little bit pink but it's going to continue to cook in there yeah. is it nice? Yeah, no hmm. it might be a bit under a few of those pieces which ones? Hmm? The bone you gave me. Uh. I wanna laugh out loud. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder. Just been replying to your comments um, and just catching up on all of the kindness that you guys have been showing me. So thank you for always commenting on my posts. But I'm ready to blitz this up. Brain just asked me 
what time dinner is going to be ready and I think he's hungry. Um, if you have a hand blender, this would work a lot better, but I don't have one. So this is how I do it. I just do it in um, the blender. Sorry if the TV is a little bit loud. Okay, and then this is what it looks like. I blended it all up. I think I blended it a little bit too long. I normally don't like it this smooth, but you can do it how smooth and how chunky you like it. Um, also, tip for the blender. Um, you are not actually supposed to do hot liquids in a blender, but if you do it really quickly, um, it's perfectly fine. So you just need to like blend it literally a second and open it up so that um, it doesn't like suction with the heat and then I just put it on the stove you can add more water if you want it to be a little bit more watery it's dinner time it's dinner time thank you thank you morning it's the next morning so we didn't show you much last night after Jason's last contact I'm just busy making some coffee again and yeah my deadlines coming up quite fast and Jason's got quite a lot to do today she's also going live with uh, momentum tonight right yeah, she's going live with momentum tonight and she's got a few videos to do so we've got a lot to do today which unfortunately we won't be able to record for you guys but we just wanted to say thank you for watching again and we'll see you in the next one we hope you enjoyed it we're also just trying to get back into the habit of t picking up the camera and recording everything it's uh it's a bit of the, on the back burner at the moment we're not used to it anymore, so we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.